I've done it, I've turned pro. <laughs> this is genuinely hand on my heart, the hardest I've ever trained in my whole entire life. Come on, for <laughs> sake, man. Come on, what's the matter with you, man? I've still got about eight and 10 kilos to lose in not very long. Okay. I'm nowhere near ready, but I'm getting ready and I will be ready. So I've had to let go of crisps, biscuits, pizza. Oh, I love pizza. I've had to ditch so many of my favorite foods and drinks, fizzy drinks. I love a Dr. Pepper or a Coke. They are my absolute favorite. But um, they gotta go in the bin. They gotta go. It's getting swapped for meal preps, water, and vitamins. And that's what makes a good fighter. I was having a pizza delivered every weekend. I'd have when I go out to eat, I mean, I can't, I can't walk into a garage without buying a little wrap of some sort, or like a little, little, little oh, Subway. Oh, I forgot about Subway. I love Subway. But to be fair, this is actually nice food. I wanted to see physically how different my diet is now, and what I was eating to what I'm eating now, and actually physically see what I was putting into my body. This for me, ah. Oh. Salt charge looks in the cupboard. I mean, I'd get up. I mean, I'm not eating one. I'm not eating one of these. I'm eating at least four packs of these cereals. I like to mix them up. I love a bit of cereal. Oh, then I'll have my mid-morning snack. Some nice, some nice bread. Heaps of butter. Lovely bit of marmite on it. I'm sure I can squeeze marmite into the diet somehow. A nice cold glass of this. Mmm. And then like in between days, I'd just have like snacks, like, you know, rolls and things like that. And just loads of, just loads of crisps. But I won't just, I won't just have one bag of crisps. I'll have six bags of crisps. Seeing all the stuff that I had been putting in my body, not that I don't want to put it in my body again, it makes me realize that to be an athlete and to be fit and to, to go anywhere in terms of this sport, you can't be eating that stuff. You can't be eating that stuff. You've got to be fueling your body right. The difference between, you know, all this, what I definitely go through in a day, is completely different. So do you know what we're going to do with that lot? I'll show you what we're going to do with that lot. Just to avoid some temptation. No. No. Too much, but I've got. I love crisps. Kettle chips, Walkers. I even like the cheap ones. Space Raiders. Cheetos. 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 Hey, this is like torture. I like the crunch. That. It's all gotta go. Is it white bread? Yeah, that's white. That's gotta go. I'm keeping that though. Okay, I'm keeping it. Cause I love it. I love it. All right, Mum, I am officially chucking away the things I shouldn't be eating. It's got to go. I've got my meal preps, and it's all got to go. Is the bin open? Is that door open to so put it in the bin? I'll put it in the kitchen bin. Well, I could probably still get access in the kitchen bin, but here we go. It's got to go. So, goodbye. <laughs> I miss you, my old friend. So, so far I've got away with just training, but today I'm finally back in the ring sparring pros. It's been a long, long time. That's it. Barry's got a little treat lined up for me. Thank you, Bal. And that little treat is Unda. <laughs> 13 and 0. <laughs> five knockouts, and he's got a lovely little nickname called Hands of Brick. So thank you, Barry. And that is a very, very good fighter. I mean, look, he's had over 200 amateurs, very, very top level. And I'll tell you what, the geezer can 
bang. He can bang. Well, be careful, Wanda. <laughs> the feeling of being punched by Wanda is like being run over by small trucks, but just over and over and over again in your ribs. All right, time, time. Listen, like, use that jab as his head, to his shoulder, his head, sorry, yeah? Bang, bang, bang. You use your feet and stay tight in there, yeah? Watch out for the upper because they do sneak up there. Let's go. He's trying to suck you in, so don't get some feints there, yeah? He's set the trap for you, so you've got to faint. That's it, that's it, that's better. Don't overdo the feints, just boom, boom. There's so much I need to work on, like, huh, my breathing. Come on, Jack, Put, leave it in there, baby. My ring space and my footwork and where to be in the ring at what time, when to move at what time, when to take a, take a breather, when to tie up. There's so much more to the science and the beautiful sport of boxing that I'm kind of relearning. Jesus, don't let him walk up, yeah? All right, stay there. You've got to suck, you've got to suck that air in. You, got, you can't just hold your breath when you're going after him, yeah? It's about your breathing, yeah? And your recovery. Yeah, see, look, when he's given that little bit of space, nick it, nick it. Let's go. Walk forward. All right, now you should be holding him there, Jack. Get your arms inside. All right, try him, try him, try him. Come here. You have to learn this now, because you're going to get yourself hurt. I can see it. Stand in front of me. A shape up. I'm going to give you a little bit extra breathing, yeah? Look, what's this, yeah? Stand there. You see how I tied you up? Yeah. I'm in ya. Turn him and come under him. He can't do nothing. If you come back and you're in a position where you don't want to be, i.e. in the corner, you can tie him up, get your head under, get, like, get your hip in, get your hips in close. You can tie him up. Get your arm there, get your f***ing arm there and walk into that shit. Now put your weight on him. You come out and then look, all of a sudden you're in the centre of the ring and you've got yourself some space. And Barry and Ben both taught me that. Right, one more. Oh. Yes, no, 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 no. One more. One more. We're going, we're, we're going to go to that horrible place. Yeah? That's it. Now walk into him, Jack. That's it. Don't let him off the road. Last 30, Jack. Come on, son. This is what Jack's made of. <laughs> You cannot let him stay in there because he'd just bang away all day. I mean, in sparring, you change your tempo and you change, you know, depending on your distance. But I mean, I'm pretty sure Under wasn't holding back. And when I was just hitting Under, I wasn't holding back either. I was trying to let him have it. <laughs> all right, time. <laughs> Jump out. <laughs> well done, well done. It's getting better, boy. That's good. You enjoyed it, yeah? Yeah. See, now you know where you got to be now. Yeah. Yeah? We're not playing f***ing conquers up there or nothing like that, mate. You know what I mean? This is a real deal. Oh, it's hard. He knocks everything out. I bet he does. So, Adam, you need to experiment how far you can push your fitness. And that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. But it ain't going to happen overnight. Over four or five weeks, you get up there, you do 12 rounds without even blowing. Yeah. Because it'll be in you. I'll have it. It'll, it'll be embedded in you. I'd completely forgot what it's like to get bashed to pieces by a professional boxer. Can't feel my left arm. Look here. It may sound strange, but it feels good. I've been training as hard as I can, but I'm finally starting to notice a change in my body. I'm finally starting to notice a change. I'm not a body conscious person, as, as you all know, but I'll admit it's nice to see a couple of abs popping through a little bit. They've been hiding for many, many years. <laughs> Listen, look. This is a little bit of a recovery, look. Look at that. Two weeks in. I've lost over a stone so far, to put it that way. I mean, that's down to the, nu the nutritionist, but like, I'm, I'm put it this way. I'm not going up in weight, I'm going down. <laughs> Where's this, where's this thing going? Most people, girls especially, I keep getting messages saying, get the dad bod back, get the dad bod back. So I think people prefer the dad bod. Well on target. And that's with full stomach, late night weight, full clothes on. It's coming off. Today is a very, very important day for me. Um, I'm going to do my assessment to get my professional boxing license. 
I'm feeling pretty nervous to be honest, even though I know how to box, it's like, it's like when you know the answer to a question in a test at school, but you're still nervous about the test anyway. It's a big, big day, and if it doesn't go to plan, then the dream's over. So this is an important day for me. My name's Ben Harmsworth. Today I'm assessing Jack to, to see if he's confident enough to be granted a British Boxing Board of Control professional boxing licence. I've already been in front of the British Boxing Board of Control. I had to take my old amateur card, I had to show all of my amateur photos and the, you know all of the old programmes with my name on showing that I'd been in the ring. Yeah. We grilled them on their, on, their, on their boxing background. You have to have brain scans, you have very, lots of um, blood tests, very thorough, thorough medical. I, I have to turn boxers down fairly regularly, so it's not easy, no. Jack, do you know roughly what you weigh today? Roughly? There's a danger of getting hurt, so if you don't have a British Boxing Board of Control professional licence and you go on the unlicensed scene, it's much more dangerous. Boxers die in British Boxing Board of Control boxing. More boxers die and get injured in unlicensed boxing. A boxing assessment is completely confidential, so there's no cameras allowed in the room for this one. It's strictly confidential. But we're basically looking to see if they've got an adequate level of fitness and competence, general competence, to have their professional debut in, say, a month's time. Uh, we're not necessarily looking to say if we think they're going to be world champion or even if they're going to win the debut, just that they're going to be safe to have it. They're very strict and they have to see that you're capable of being able to box, number one, of being able to last four rounds, being able to hold your hands up correctly, able to throw your shots correctly. We look at uh, four rounds of shadow boxing, four rounds of bag work, four rounds of pad work. I'm looking a lot of the time at their footwork. Uh, the, the range of punches, their physical appearance, their stamina, their general fitness. If I don't get my licence, this whole dream of me being a professional boxer will be completely over. Well done, Jack. Cheers, man. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a pass. Yes. Congratulations to you and all, boy. Well done. It's a pass. It was, it was important for us that he was treated just like anybody else, any other boxer that would apply. No special treatment. It's good. It was good all the way through. It was a bit stiff at the start, but he loosened up and, and you can see you've done loads of boxing. Yeah. So that's good work. He didn't think it was a given that he was going to get a licence. He came in taking it seriously. Um, if someone had come from, from Love Island with no amateur background, they probably wouldn't have got a, even an interview. Mate, I'm, I'm a light. I can't wait to get to training tonight and tell everyone. I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm off now. Going to get a relax, get ready for training tonight. But yes, got my license. Boom, I'm a boxer. Officially. You know what to you do know, if it's broken, don't you? Don't get it on it again. <laughs>